Hello guys, welcome back to another brand new video and a brand new day. Today we are riding in highway, so I was thinking, let's make a video. Why not? <laughs> let's make a uh, motor vlog, which is a little bit uh, informative. It's some informative kind of video, so let's just start it, guys. So right now we are just riding in a highway, pretty big highway. So I'll tell you what to do and what to not do in the roads of Nepal basically the highway of Nepal so number one point is whenever you go in highway or you ride in highway make sure your bike is good good to go check the tire pressures check the oil level and also check this uh, check the brakes front brakes back brake and also you need to check uh, side lights you know side lights are very important in highway this is the only method that you can communicate in the long distance so for everyone who are traveling basically i made this video for uh, new riders who are riding in nepal who like to travel in nepal so pilot talagar the thane hola hai for the experienced riders this is just a video but for new riders i think it's gonna help so the number one point is as i said yeah guys you just need to uh, make sure your bike is good to go and the second point is the thing that is in your head and that is in your hand so the second thing is safety guys safety is very much important when you ride in highways so you so it's better you buy a nice helmet which is uh, certified dot certified ec certified helmet don't buy the cheap ones or the copy helmets because the copy helmets won't be that much helpful if in case there is any kind of crash i hope no one uh, goes through the crash situation but it's just my thing don't buy copy helmets buy a uh, ls2 there are many kind of helmets that is dot or ec certified ls2 bilmola uh there are even helmets like AGV, Sark, if you can afford uh, them, buy some good kind of helmets and always wear a glove. Let me tell you why the gloves are necessary because if in case if you fall down, this will be a first point of thing that will touch the ground. Yeah guys and if it's possible, it is also better to use a riding jacket. I'm not using a riding jacket because I don't have a riding jacket right now. I don't own a riding jacket, so if anyone wants to sponsor, you can sponsor the riding jacket, guys. <laughs> right, there are uh, riding jackets, riding boots, or uh, riding pants. But in uh, the kind of riding I do, I just do normal kind of riding, very safely. So I wear helmet and uh, gloves. But I think I will buy a riding jacket uh, pretty soon because it's important. It will save us from wind and uh, dust, you know, and even if there is any kind of crash, I think it will help us. And the third point is always make sure to read the road signals or the road, uh, what do you call them? The road markings, actually, it's called road markings. See the road markings if there are dot 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 break road markings or straight road markings, it will help you a lot. Dot dot kind of marking is that you can overtake them from right side and if there is a straight kind of marking that means that users can't overtake don't overtake so uh, read the roads as well yeah you can see this yeah <laughs> you know the highway of nepal what the f bro what the f what the f is that car doing bro throwing apples from Idiots bro, idiots. The main point is look out for this kind of idiots. They throw anything from their shit vehicle. Again, three times three times they are throwing apple from the window. Idiots bro, idiots. I just, I just can't find a straight kind of lining in the road marking so I'll just post a video you can't overtake in this kind of road and I think the another point is fourth point will be reading this kind of signs this means no overtaking because there is a turn it is very much important to learn you know that kind of signs uh, last one was no overtaking some will be like this S shape that means the road is curvy there will be signs of landslides too so make sure you read that kind of 
<laughs> signs and for all the riders another point is you should know when to use high beam and low beam mostly at night time if we are going from here and someone is coming from that side if they put their high beam on then it will be very difficult for us to ride so you just need to be careful about the high beam so even if you are riding make sure you don't you don't turn on your high beam in night if someone is coming from opposite direction and another point will be using your side lights make sure that you use your side lights when overtaking and use of this mirror tere kon jo suno hote hai ka side pe side pe bal na lag so if you are just riding if you need to go to left side just turn on your left turn signal then first glory and make sure that you watch your let me show you the example let me overtake this car let me show you the practical guys practical this is the practical knowledge that car is too fast bro car is going too fast whenever you overtake in highway make sure you look the mirror see if someone is coming or not cuz everyone wants to overtake in highway so make sure that no one is coming behind you or trying to overtake i'm just trying to give you guys a short example then just if you want to overtake turn your right signal on then this car is not letting me go bro get you you guys got the the thing i was trying to show if you want to overtake just turn your right signal on then pass this car so i guess these are the things that you must be very much careful while you ride in highway i think it's just like 6 7 points if there are other points uh, please uh, feel free to leave a comment down below it will be helpful for me as well uh, new riders who are trying to start riding in highway So these are the things guys that you need to be careful while riding in highway these are the video i just wanted to make so i just made it uh, if you find it useful leave a like below damn i just love this kind of road bro i think we just need to speed up but after some while Woo! you can see the river down below water is very much muddy i think it has rained yesterday So guys I like in this video it is just a small tips you know tips how to ride in highway or how to not ride in highway so thank you for watching guys stay tuned for more videos if you are new to the channel guys do subscribe it will mean a lot to me we are uh, heading towards our goal is 1k guys 1k i think we are like on it subscriber left so thank you for watching guys take care bye bye